Hi, this is Kian once again. Welcome to Prayer Line. Precious one, I want you to know that today is the day the Lord has made. will rejoice and be glad. Precious one, I want to follow up with the disturbing dream I had concerning um, war on American soil. You know, ever since the very day that I had that disturbing dream of seeing um, huge planes from other countries invading the United States and also the American government deploying some of their other uh, planes and there was kind of um, war on the soil in the land of the United States and people running into their homes from the street because they wanted to run away from being shot because of the planes. Huge uh, planes, airplanes, air force planes invading the country and then the United States also deployed other smaller planes and then other planes so it was like an air combat the surprising thing which happened is that immediately I dreamt I made a video and immediately after finishing the video you know, I went to check my email and then you see the Yahoo um, news and I came across this news and it says russia threatens u.s missile shield wow i was just it's like i said wow this is surprising i dream about this big you know in the dream i said i didn't want to mention any country the country invading because i didn't i wasn't sure but there was something when my eyes saw this on yahoo.com the same a few minutes after i finished doing the video and i told my wife that people not believe me if i tell them that you no know, uh immediately after i had put up the video i've come across um, this the title that russia threatens u.s missile shield it says that the russian president the russia president has threatening to target u.s missile shell site in europe with cruise missiles and even abandon the new start the new start nuclear disarmament treaty if u.s does not guarantee it interceptor missiles will not act against russia's own nuclear arsenals i told her you know what it will be as though after reading this then i made up the um, the video but I had it, it was after I had dreamt and made up the video. The first news I read was this thing about Russia threatening the US missile site in Europe. And then today, which is on the 27th November 2011, I come across another thing Iran threatens to hit Turkey if US. Or Israel attack another um, title from Yahoo Iran threatens to hit Turkey if US or Israel attack and it says that Iran Iran AP or says that Iran will target NATO's missiles defense installation in Turkey if the US or Israel <coughs> attacks the Islamic Republic a senior commander of Iran's powerful Revolutionary Guard said on Saturday. And then I began to connect some dots. Iran. Russia. And then God began to tell me, China. China has the power now to also cripple us economically because we owe them so much money. The trillions, the 15 trillions dollar in debt, um, sometimes we borrow money from them. They have the power to cripple us economically. Then we have Russia and Iran. These are three major nations we have to be taking, um, watching out as we exit this year into next year. And of late, the kind of um, headlines are very threatening. Iran threatens, you no. Know, to hit Turkey if US or Israel attacks and then Russia threatens US missile shield site in Europe if they can do that in Europe 
what what makes us feel as though that uh, what makes us think as that they will not be able to do it here on our souls. <coughs> I'm beginning. All, all I'm trying to tell you that I'm beginning to understand the um, the dream as time is going on. I'm beginning to understand this dream I had, and as I told you, the first thing I came across after the dream was the fact that Russia has threatened also the U.S. missile f uh, shield in Europe, and then somebody also. After watching the dream, also told me that you know what, he's come across some uh, um, other people prophesying about. You no, know, he says um, China uh, prepare for China's invasion of West Coast. This this was done by somebody on YouTube called the United States Prophecy. Uh, it was done in 2010, February the second, 2010, and. It was as though the Chinese would be invading the Western coast. No. So um, all I'm, what I want to say is that we just have to be praying and we just have to be watching out for these nations. Iran, China, and Russia. I believe that China can be used, first of all, through the economy to cripple us. Then Russia military uh, force you know as much as we have you know there, there used to be a cold war between the communists and the capitalists and the americans were fighting or trying to prove to the communist nation which uh, china and russia the, the who was who had the who was the superpower then some years back it was a, a cold war between the united states and russia so as much as uh, probably we during those times we were stronger than the Russians. However, whatever uh, atomic bombs that we have, Russia also have the same amount of atomic bombs, and they are also very advanced in their military. Also, they were also one, one of the few nations to be able to go into the uh, moon during the time of competition with who had the power in the uh, in the how do you call it with the astro uh, astronomy and all those kind of stuff russia has the military mind iran is a catalyst iran is a starter and china will be an economic force against this nation listen Russia has the um, the military might. They have the atomic bomb. They have the jet planes. They have all most of all the advanced military advancement and might to to stand against us. Because some years back we used to have cold war with them. Russia is a communist nation. They are very powerful in terms of military might maybe economically they are not as strong as we are but now probably economically we are as <coughs> weak as they are because we are already in 15 trillions in debt one of the countries which is sustaining us is um russia uh, china you know china is it's so funny during the time of cold war could you imagine that russia china was one of America's worst enemies. China was one of America's worst enemies. We didn't want to have anything to do with them because they were a communist nation run by people like um, Mao Zedong and all the people who followed after him. They were very much into communism and they were in, um, spreading their influence to countries like Vietnam. The irony is that uh, China was spreading their communist influence into countries like Asia, countries like Vietnam. The Americans knew the uh, military power of China, so they wouldn't directly go after China when it comes to war. But they were attacking Vietnam and trying to take control over Vietnam to prevent it from becoming a communist nation. And that's what the Vietnamese war went on 
for many many years and we didn't even win the battle there because of their gorilla kind of war and all those things at the same time people were making side money out of this war the um military uh, the some of the people who are into uh, making guns and all those things they were making money and making the war to go on just to make money out of it the military industrial complex as they call it ways of you know sending people into war and just making money out of it what i want you to know is that during that time china was one of the great influence of communists in the asian nations and instead of america stopping them they knew the abilities of china so they were trying to block vietnam from becoming a communist nation but at the end of the day they still ended up you know being influenced by the communists the war between uh, in, in vietnam was never settled well america never won that battle and huge sum of uh, our men and women who went to battle died so right now the same nation which used to be one time our greatest enemies now becomes in this present times one of our best um, trading nations you no know, i think it was nixon or one of the presidents one time went there to you know try and negotiate with them to start um dialoguing with china and then for instance a lot of the tech, uh, um electrical products which we are able to afford to buy it cheaply in walmart and other stores it's because most of the products are made in china cheap labor and i uh, when they, are, they bring them here they sell it to you know, a cheaper price because there in china you know they are one of the nations with the greatest populations and so when they take their product there in china it is cheap labor you no know, people can create or work and be paid an hour for probably two dollars or three dollars instead of here whereby they'll pay you uh maybe twelve dollars or fifteen dollars they will take it to china or africa or somewhere else for cheap labor and be able to make a lot of the product and be able to bring it here and sell it at an affordable price at the same vein because the works are being outsourced or taken to china people are losing job here and it's affecting our economy so the one time enemy great enemy of the united states have become one of our greatest trading partners um great stores like walmart are all taking their product uh, their stores there or their manufacturing companies there most of the manufacturing companies are taking it to china to produce their goods now so china has a lot of has, has been lending us a lot of money they have the ability to help cripple us financially economically and russia who was in the past also during the cold war military might competing with us in terms of military might also are very strong when it comes to the military remember china is one of the most populous nation they have they are in millions they, they, those guys are a lot they are a lot so imagine if all of them begins to become military uh, enter into the military or recruit into the military to fight they can outnumber us but i believe that you are the, the, the plan against us will be to first of all use china to cripple this nation in terms of an economy then russia will be having the military might and then iran will be a catalyst they are just going to be used as tools to bring about conflict war especially when it comes to the dealing with um countries like israel because americans see themselves to be in great uh, friendship or allies with israel anything that touches israel is like touching america so if the iranian government hate um israel so much it's as though they also hate the americans and now they iran iranian government are trying to build atomic bombs nuclear heads in order to wipe out israel israel 
the Israelis are trying to prevent that from happening. They are seeking Americans' help or approval to be able to stop them. At the same time, Iran has connection with countries like China and um, Russia because they also supply them with some oil. So you see the connection. One day, I don't know when, this Iran, who Iran is going to trigger it. You know, the trigger is going to come from Iran and Israel. Iran is the catalyst. They are going to stimulate or bring about the conflict in the Middle East. And then America will try to step in to help Israel because they are their close allies. And then the military might of Russia will step in to protect Iran and then economic power of China because we are in uh, our ha hands are in their mouth economically to begin to bite and begin to cripple us economically and that's how things are going to be I'm trying to begin to connect the dot from the dream I had and I, it's making sense to me now and a lot of guys who have been having dreams and visions about these three nations so as we enter into next year and, and you you just go into google um, yahoo and just be reading the headlines headlines like russia threatens u.s missile sites in europe uh, iran threatens u.s I iran threatens to attack turkey if u.s or israel attack uh, attack it, it just have to if they are willing to attack U.S. missile sites in Europe, what makes you think that they will not be able, they will not have the audacity to begin to also bring it in your soil? So just be watchful about, um, just take and uh, be careful about Russia, the military might of Russia, the economic strength of China to cripple the United States and also a catalyst. A, 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 a problem nation like Iran who started with Israel and then get American involved and then these three powers and the Arab nations will come together and that's how things may be unfolding that's the picture I am getting with time and I've seen people somebody also has, has already prophesied in February 2012 uh in february 2010 february 12 2010 um his um on youtube side their youtube site is united states prophecy united states prophecy and the title of um, his uh, prophecy is prepare for china's invasion of west coast prepare for china's invasion of west coast and i think that he also made mention of russia and some of I'm, I'm here to also find out. I wanted to listen to that uh, prophecy before doing this video, but I didn't want to be influenced. I didn't want to be influenced by somebody's information so that I'm telling you something somebody has said. But here I'm telling you what the revelation I'm getting from my own dream and from the revelation God is giving to me concerning this dream. I wanted to listen to this guy's prophecy about the Chinese invading. I just looked at the title and I was just about to listen to the whole. It's about um, four, six series, one to six. But I said, no, I don't want to be influenced by somebody's uh, prophecies so that I begin to say something some I've already heard. But this, I'm telling you, making sense of my own dream and from the titles which I've just um yesterday and today i've been seen on yahoo like russia invading um, threatening threatening all of them is threatening the bible says that you will be hearing about rumors rumors of wars and wars everything begins with rumors and then it begins so one day it will not not be a rumor anymore one day something will trigger something and somebody will begin to take action then suddenly so when they are saying peace and safety, be, 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 be watching out. We are living in a very crucial time. And the only great defense for this nation, who is God, 
our president is able to enjoy his thanksgiving and make a thanksgiving speech publicly and will not even acknowledge god as the sovereign um uh sovereign uh power who is helping us or keeping us to now and people are saying that you know is our obama a pope why do he have to recognize god and on you know this country majority of its founding mem um, leaders were based this country or founded it on the the principle of godliness they believed in the existence of god they acknowledged god in god we trust to do away with god is for you to make yourself vulnerable you will be very vulnerable to all your enemies so please to kick god out it is uh, the fastest way to do and i believe that because we are gradually taking god out in our lives in the united states we are giving strength to our enemies i always tell people the same way when cain killed abel the curse that god placed upon him cain couldn't take it he says that god now that you have redrawn your presence from me anybody who sees me will be wanting to kill me this is too much for me because now you have made me a vagabond and you have made me an outcast and your presence is no more with me anybody who sees me will try and kill me Cain felt that he was now vulnerable to any attack from any source so he couldn't take it and was pleading god to change or reduce his judgment upon him anytime you and i are rebelling and turning away from god gradually we are making ourselves vulnerable meaning that we are strengthening the hands or the arms of our enemies and because god is no more with us Whatever they orchestrate, whatever they plan, they will be able to succeed. If we turn away from God, if we fail to acknowledge God and think we are wise in our own selves, Iran, Russia, and China will succeed. The reason why we were able to overcome Hitler when he was taking the whole world and was attacking from uh, France and uh, Berlin and moving to Australia and Britain and was come. The only reason why the United States and Britain uh, uh, were able to stop him on D-Day was because they trusted in God. Roosevelt will, will constantly, when in his speech, that God will give the troops the strength, the courage they need. They trusted in God, so they were able to stop Hitler as much as strong as hitler was then but now we have turned our backs to god and we people think they are too wise in their own sight wait until god turns his back on the united states and see how we'll be reduced to nothing and that's what our obama is gradually ushering ourselves in to give to give i, I know it's a deliberate effort because you know somebody should have told you hey in the past you have to everybody knows thanksgiving we are thanking god for our families and no how can you leave god and people think it's no it's not a big deal it's not a big deal if you are an unbeliever but it's a big deal if you're a believer <coughs> especially when they came into office on the premises that they he was a believer when he came to government on the premises that he was a christian it means that he fooled you as the christians they become christians only when they need your vote and yes he is the same person who will stand by the gays and the lesbians and tell you that they have they need rights in the military they need rights in the united states a man can marry a man and a woman can marry a woman which is going on all over the states so gradually they are misleading us to turn our back to God, and it's going to, it's going to, it's going to affect us. That's why now we are in fifteen trillions in debt. There are leaders who are allowing occultic groups to influence their decision making. There's a power behind the scene. There's a power. The Illuminati and the Freemason societies and all these. There are powers behind influencing these guys. Christians, just watch out and cast. Your eyes on Jesus Christ, who is our only helper. I don't think that any man can stop what is going to happen. What will happen will happen because the end is coming. At the right time, 
Russia will rise, China will rise, Iran will rise. There will be that nothing can stop it because prophecies have to be fulfilled. The only safety is that you know Jesus Christ. The only safety is that you turn to God and not, don't put your trust in the politicians. So I just came to warn you that watch out when they are talking about peace and safety. Watch out. Watch out when they are talking about peace and safety. Watch out. And we'll be watching for China. China, the ability to cripple us economically. Russia, military might. And Iran, a catalyst, the stimulant, that the troublemaker who will begin the conflict. And all these forces will step in and other nations will be stepping in and it will be a big thing. And I tell people that I have the feeling. I'm not telling you that says the Lord. I'm not saying that I'm prophesying to you. I just, just, I have the feeling, the belief that Obama will win the second term in office. I'm so confident. I don't know why, but I'm so confident. That is my personal opinion. It is not God told me or nothing. It is my op op personal opinion because I I, I, I I have that feeling that he's going to win the second. I don't see Mitt Romney matching him. I don't see Herman Cain. I don't see Gengrich. I don't see anybody or any of the... And if you watch the Republicans candidate, anyone who rises false, Herman Cain rises and then he is being reduced because of sexual harassment issue. Then Rick Perry rises and then they drop him down. Then uh, Mitt Romney rises and they, he's brought down and then it's now the great. So everybody is, it's, it's like up and down. I don't see any one of them. When the time is coming, Obama will come with a smooth talk again. With the rhetorics, the same thing, he got the masses to follow him and say, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. And today we know it is, yes, we can't. Yes, we can't. Yes, no, we can't. No, we can't. He's going to play the same ball game again and win the second term. So we are entering into very crucial times. So please, beloved, we are entering. Just make sure that you are not distracted. You are focused. You are taking your Christianity seriously. And you are watching and praying. Now I'll tell you, watch and pray. Watch. Let your eyes be open and pray just watch and pray and get yourself close to jesus make sure that you know him as your lord and personal savior because one day it will sadly happen it was one day that pot uh i've forgotten the place was born by the japanese potable or something and then when they strike the united states one of their ports uh then that is what started got us involved in the second world war and then we have to bomb you know it, it's it's just one day sadly it just happened sadly it just happened sadly it just happened for now we are just hearing rumors 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 one day just something happened before you realize what triggered it it will be something so insignificant and then missiles are being shot and then we are at war and then commotion and pandemonium and people Heart are failing and then that is it. That is it. That is it. Then the man of peace, the Antichrist, will step in and try to put things together and then hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the rapture happens before then. The rapture happens. That's why it's so crucial. That's why I made a whole series about 2000. While some occultic groups are believing that 2012 is the end of the world. <coughs> and we went through the list about the um uh, how do you call it the jewish octodos um they are they are mystic uh, their book of mysticism which is the their kabbalah magic book predicting or uh, dating that december 20 uh, 2012 2012 is the coming of their messiah and they don't acknowledge jesus christ as their messiah so who else is coming they are going to be embracing their the antichrist as their messiah but according to their they are missed, uh, they are ancient book book of Zoha, which was prophesied 700 years ago. 2012 is the manifestation of their Messiah. Then we also talked about uh, the Mayan calendar. They believe that December 
12 or so, 2012, is the end of their calendar, the end of their calendar, and the beginning of a new one, and that is when the the the, the, the god of the earth will surface with the other nine supporting gods, and to, will come in and invade the earth. And then we talked about the Hindus also believe that they are, the end of their uh, male demon gods will also be manifesting in 2012. Then even in Catholic, they believe that there will be 112. Uh, popes and the last one will will be elected during the time of great tribulation the time of the antichrist and now they are having their 111th pope pope benedict after that will come petrus omnos uh, peter the roman and right now the one who is presently the pope uh, benedict the 16th Many people have made uh, assassination on his life. He's old. Anything could happen from now, 2012. You know. Then we talked about also, you know, most of the occultic groups are dating the, uh, the end of the world in 2012. However, as believers, we do not know the date, the time that Jesus Christ is coming. So, we are admonished to always prepare every single day as though Jesus Christ is coming. And everything that we are seeing around us, the economic collapse in the European nations, the Arab Spring, that has caused a lot of uh, removal of dictators and conflict in the Arab world. And it has even entered here with Occupy Wall Street, Occupy Denver, Occupy Oakland. It's becoming violent. People are being arrested, pepper spraying, rubber bulleting. Two people were dead, you know, and it's becoming nasty every single day. Then earthquakes, volcanoes, famine, pestilence, HIV is just spreading. Please wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Time is running out. Make sure you know Jesus Christ. I don't want to dedicate this um, video on that. I will do it sometime, but take note of Russia. Take note of china and iran the thing is that you can't stop them unless it is god's divine unless god grant us the grace just as we've been able to stop osama bin laden or ben, uh, osama bin laden or gaddafi or saddam hussein doesn't mean that you can stop you no know, the iranians or the syrians or china or no 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 some of these forces have to be in place for the coming of the great tribulation. Yours and my responsibility as believers is to watch and pray and to make sure that we are ready for the soon return of Jesus Christ. If you are hearing the sound of my voice, please, 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 I beg of you, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. He is the only way, the truth, and the life. No one has access to the Father except through Jesus. Some time ago, I used to admonish people, store some food in case of hyperinflation or drought or anything. If you do all these things, it's important you do it. You know, save money, um, save food, save water in case of earthquakes, something to preserve you. But the greatest security is to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior and to have eternal life so that whatever happens, once you know, you know him. He will be there to help you in times of need. So watch out for Russia again. The military might watch out for China again. The, the power to cripple us economically. And also they have military might and they are one of the most populous nations. Very they are a lot. They are they are many men. And then the troublemakers. Iran, who will begin with Israel and get America, America involved and it will just escalate and only God knows. You are warned. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. However, your security is in our Lord Jesus Christ. That's all I can tell you. Run to him. Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. And do not lean into your, onto your own understanding. Don't, don't trust in the politicians. They, they are part of the ball game. You know, the new world order, oh, I tell you the truth. They are all part of the system. The elite, they are part of them. The free men societies, they are part of them. 
they are they are part of the new world you know religion new world order they are all they know what they are doing and um just ask yourself what will you do when obama is the next president it will be getting worse and worse put your trust in god stay blessed